Hello and welcome to this breathing forms tutorial. My name is Marcus from crosstech.de and today I want to show you how to um, add a PayPal button for simple payment to your form and the PayPal button for uh, pay to download um, for instance a um, zip file or something that can be any file you want. Um, this feature is only available in the easy mode so we need to create a new form using the easy mode. And um, I just want to put a, a zip file. Um, I will use the former Breathing Forms 151 version um, available for paid download as example. And um, before we add the PayPal button, um, I would like to have some um, fields here in the form um, which the user has to fill in. Um, I would like this to be the name here we give it name and I would like to have a, another text field for the mail address mail and of course for the internals, we have to use emails too. This is the title. The title will be shown in the notification email for the administrator. Now we have to put a, oh, a validation script for the mail address. Enter an error message. Please enter a valid email. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Update. And maybe a little checkbox for having a. Um, how is it spelled in English? Um, oh, check to agree. Oops. Whatever. A little bit like that. Then let's check for another validation script for it. Needs to agree to our license. Um, and now we're going to add the special PayPal button, which is um, technically just a button. But once this button is clicked, um, you will be transferred to the PayPal page and be able to pay. Um, since this is a normal button, and you also um, may have watched the other tutorials, you will need to assign a action script on the button which is called validate submit which validates the whole form and then submits it and now we have to set up the PayPal button and here we go to its options first I give it the explainable name like PayPal button here already did it in a test before here also and here this is special we use the test account and when we are using a test account we have to add the um, store owner's test account mail address and the test account's uh, token which you can obtain from PayPal you um, would need to read the PayPal docs but it's in fact the same like you would um, use a live account so it's the same for the test accounts and we say yeah we want to have a download, downloadable file too and here we have to add uh, and this is important when I um, choose to have a downloadable fi file it's important to enter the path 
to the file the user um, is able to download once he paid it paid for it um, it's very important that you put th this file um, outside of your web, web folder or you um, in, uh, you change it its permissions to permissions to 700 um, because then the um, it's not accessible from from the outside anymore and it's protected um, here you have the download tries um, I would like to add a free here such that the user is able to click a maximum of three times on its, uh, his download um, if something um, is going wrong for him. Here at the item name, here at the item number and here amount it's the amount of your the monetary amount of your product which is five. We have no tax on it so it's zero. This thank you page um, will be uh, will be used if it's not a download file because that's because when you have a download file then you will um, be um, uh, yeah linked to a special page where you can download from um, so it's a built-in thank you page but this one is if you just want to have a paid um, a, a payable form without a uh, download file which you can choose here. So when you say no, everything here from from here to here is not used except if you click yes. Okay, then we have the locale. Um, you could also use the E, but I keep it. Uh, let it. Um, I just keep it uh, in English. And as currency, um, I leave the default USD also. For Euro it would be EUR. Yeah, and here you can change the PayPal button itself, but we leave the default one. So we update. Save the form. And now I want to add um, a title for the form itself. Uh, which we call BF1 one, one download BF1 one DL. and um, I also want a custom address um, we use the test address Um, below you see the custom mail subject. It's very interesting. Maybe for you, it's a new feature. Um, if you enter a, um, a custom mail subject here, um, you, you will have a new subject um, in the mails, mail notifications for the admin and the user. Um, in the past, it was like um, that that you weren't able to. Um, you weren't able to change the subject, but now it's changed. So um, here I added the um, breathing forms uh, mail address to see if you have proper results. And then we're gonna go to the preview, and here we have our little form. Oh, here I forgot to name the label just to be a bit clean. Send the form now and pay with PayPal. It's not that um, nice, but I think you get the point. And now the preview finally. So my name is Marcus. My email address is marcuspromitcrosstech.de. Let's see what happens if I forget to check this. You need to agree to all license and terms. Okay. Want to do? And now we are redirected to the PayPal page. Here I enter 
here again I have a, a test account. This is the sandbox. If you're interested in uh, testing uh, it uh, with the sandbox, um, then you would need a, a yeah, sandbox account uh, for both um, the store owner and um, once you um, have an account as a store owner at the sandbox, uh, at the uh, PayPal sandbox, um, you can you can define as many um, customers as you want uh, with set with each with um, its own uh, payment settings and so on. This one has credit card settings, so now he's able to pay. Say pay now. And we are redirected to the download page. What's also nice is that PayPal gets out of the iframe, so you will always be directed to the download page um, in a proper way, and you can see the page like that. And here you see um, the download link. Um, here um, is shown how many down downloads the user um, has to try. Or, um, it has a maximum of three in this case. Um, he may try. I tried once, and here you see the file is downloading. What happens now if I click a second time? I can download it again. The third time, I can download it again, and now the fourth time, you see that we reach the maximum amount of download tries. Um, if you don't see this message here, um, then uh, something might be wrong with your template. Um, your template should always, always have this uh, message line. So if you don't see any message, then you know that um, something went, went wrong with your template. However, um, this was our little test. Well, let's see what we received. Here we received um, a new purchase. You see the um, you see it in the form title, and this is what I uh, mustn't forget because you surely want to see in the database who purchased what. And when you go to the manage record section, of course. You can see in the, on, the, on the first view what happened. Um, here we have an entry for, um, for this um, form. You can also use the filter. So if you have more than just one form, you can filter it like that. In, in this case, there is still one entry. And you see the PayPal transaction ID and the PayPal transaction date. You can see if it was a test. And how many tries the user? Um, how many tries the user? Uh, uh, yeah, did. And um, in this case, he used all three tries. Um, this is something uh, which would be um, nice for people concerning about that they couldn't download the file. So that uh, that's really it. I hope you enjoyed it, and um, I hope um, I could show you how simple it is to add a PayPal button to Breezing Forms and have um, downloadable files. And um, yeah, wish you a nice day, and see you next time. Bye.